I'm gonna tell you about the Biffle Bug. It's been out about a year now, maybe a little longer. I've had them for maybe a year and a half. And uh, you know, the way it came about is Gene LaRue wanted me to make them a bait and uh, gave me the, the run to make it any way I wanted it. So uh, I flipped a beaver some and uh, I wanted to make a bait that I could flip and, and use a lot of different ways. And so uh, this, this is what it came out to be. This is uh, Biffle Bug and Smoke Silver. It's Texas rigged, uh, like I flip it. When I'm flipping and pitching it, this is the rig that I use. I put a bobber stopper up here to keep my weight pegged against the bait. I usually use a 5 16 trunk, true tungsten weight. This is a 4 aught paycheck bait punch hook. And uh, they have a little shrink tubing that they send with them. You put that shrink tubing on there and turn it out. Cut it at a 45, it's already cut. Heat shrink it on there. Take your bug. Go down about the third ring on it. You want that barb to stay up in it, like so. And just bring it through, bring it through the first layer and let the hook stay inside. It's a hollow bait, but when you're flipping in that heavy cover, you can't have it exposed like you do on the hard head. So you just bring it in through the first layer it's sitting in the open cavity inside, and right there's the point. So uh, it's pretty simple. And uh, one neat thing about this is it's hollow. So I can stick a rattle up inside it when I want it to uh, rattle, when real muddy water or when the fish aren't very active. Uh, you can put a piece of foam in it to float it to Carolina rig it, and then you can fish it on the hard head. You can also put the foam in it, fish it weightless on top of the grass and weeds like we're doing today, and, uh, and catch them that way. So it's one of the most versatile baits that there is. When you hook it on the, on the hard head, you want to come in about dead center and come out about the second little bump, second little ridge right there. And what that does, this hook is a Z-bend owner hook, four-off hook, and that lets that bait get up on there but if you hook it too deep, then it gets up against the action of the head. So about the second little ridge right there and come out and uh, bring it all the way through and just bring it back up there to where it's laying on the back of it. That's all there is to it. Anytime you're flipping and pitching it, you always want to bury the hook on the inside. It's hollow, but you just have one skin, one layer of plastic to go through. But when you fish it on the hard head, it's got a four out on her hook in it. You want to bring the hook all the way through both sides and then let it lay right there in the little V in between, in between the ridges. And uh, it's totally weedless. Very seldom will you ever hang it up. And the technique I use to fish it is a steady retrieve. Keep it on bottom, bumping, bump, 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 bump. And I throw it on 20 pound shooter sunline and uh, you know, a stiff action rod, a seven, uh, 610 heavy action rod and just it's a real easy bait to fish I think it's they think it's a crawdad getting away uh, you know it's a reaction type bait you can cover a lot of water with it and and you can hop it and, and move it along like a jig but I think the key and the the secret to this bait is it's on that swivel head so it lets that bait go any direction and you just keep reeling it bumping it I like to throw it in rocks and uh, keep it moving and that bait sitting there flopping and wiggling like that as you're dragging it dragging it through the rocks at a, at a pretty good clip and uh, they just mug it so uh, you know that's the technique I like to fish it